Ever since Neil deGrasse Tyson petitioned in the early 2000s to kick Pluto off the list of planets, humanity has developed a love-hate relationship with this cold celestial body that orbits the outermost extremities of our solar system. But our curiosity about this barren icy world has never really diminished. And now, analysis of data and images gathered by the New Horizons space probe has entirely changed the way scientists understand Pluto, revealing something strange and unexpected. New studies suggest that Pluto is alive with geological activity and isn't as calm as it seems. But what is it that the scientists saw that led them to this conclusion? And could it point to something more interesting, like life on the planet's surface? Let's find out. New Horizons Probe New Horizons launched in January 2006 and it reached Pluto in July 2015. It flew within 12,500 kilometers of Pluto's surface. During its 13-hour long flyby, it collected over 6 gigabytes of data and images of its surface. Since the spacecraft was roughly 4.5 light hours away, it took the scientists back on Earth over 15 months to download the data before they could begin studying it. Since then, they have been hard at work understanding Pluto's strange geology. Today, New Horizons is far away from Pluto. At a distance of 52.5 astronomical units from Earth, approximately 7.85 billion kilometers away, it is one of the farthest man-made objects in space. But its data has transformed Pluto from a fuzzy, telescopic dot into a living world with stunning diversity and surprising complexity. Scientists are still conducting new research on the data sent back by New Horizons, but they have already concluded that rather than being a quiet, frozen dwarf planet, Pluto is actually very active. Pictures from the probe have revealed that it has surface features and geology not seen anywhere else in our solar system. There is evidence of floating mountains, flowing glaciers of nitrogen, active volcanoes, and dunes of solid methane ice. These discoveries have challenged planetary scientists to go back to their drawing boards and re-evaluate how the building blocks of planets form. Ice Volcanoes Pluto is tiny. It's smaller than our moon and only about 2,250 kilometers wide or half the width of the United States. According to scientists, if you were to stand on the surface of Pluto, which has an average temperature of negative 387 degrees Fahrenheit, you would see blue skies, red snow, a multicolored landscape, and mountains that tower like the Rockies. This strange landscape has confused scientists for decades, especially the mountains, as Pluto shows no evidence of plate tectonics activity that plays a crucial role in mountain formation on Earth. There are also minimal signs of asteroid impact craters, a standard explanation for a hole like feature on other solar system bodies. All of this hints at the possibility that the surface of Pluto has undergone some internal geological disturbance, which perhaps manifested itself as massive volcanoes on the surface of the dwarf planet. New research based on the New Horizon pictures seems to validate this possibility, as scientists have discovered two pits near Pluto's south pole that could explain its strange surface features. The pits are located at the summits of two enormous mountains, Wrightmons and Picardmons. You can see these features just south of Pluto's famous heart-shaped glacier, known as Tombaugh Regio, which was named after Clyde Tombaugh, the discoverer of Pluto. Each mountain is a few kilometers tall and about 200 kilometers wide. They have massive pits near their summit stretching over 50 kilometers across. These mountains are very similar in size and shape to the Hawaiian volcanoes, and the depressions on top seem very much like a caldera, which is a large depression formed when a volcano erupts and collapses. But instead of fiery lava, Pluto's volcanoes would spew ice, perhaps nitrogen, carbon monoxide, or a watery slurry dredged from a buried ocean. With this new theory, scientists can also explain the strange hummock-like features that dominate the slopes of both Wrightmons and Picardmons and much of their surroundings. They believe that these hummocks were likely created by some sort of ice volcanism, known by the technical term cryovolcanism, which is erupting icy water rather than molten rock. Analysis of spectrograph data also shows that these features are made primarily of water ice rather than nitrogen or methane ice that covers some other young regions on Pluto. This seems to confirm the theory. Now, whether these ice volcanoes are still active can't be proved without further missions to the dwarf planet, as New Horizons flyby was very short to collect enough data. But still, if there are indeed ice volcanoes on the surface of Pluto, it would be the first of its kind ever discovered in our outer solar system. Floating Mountains 
Another strange feature seen on Pluto's surface is clusters of hill chains that appear to be floating on its vast nitrogen ice glaciers. These hill clusters are likely pieces of rugged uplands that have been broken away and carried by nitrogen glaciers into the Sputnik Planum region, an ice-covered basin on Pluto about 1,050 by 800 kilometers in size. This is yet another example showing off the planet's fascinating geological activity. What is strange about this feature is that the mountains seem to be floating in mid-air, as they don't seem to be anchored to the ground in any way. This has led scientists to believe that the mountains might actually be icebergs that have broken off from the nearby glacier and are now floating in a sea of nitrogen ice. These mountains are as large as the Rockies in some regions, but are still buoyant enough to rise high above denser nitrogen and carbon monoxide areas. These floating mountains are like icebergs found in some of the most remote and inhospitable places on Earth. But on Pluto, they're unusually large and close together, forming a strange and otherworldly landscape. New Horizons data also suggests that these mountains could be just 10 million years old. In cosmic terms, that's like being born yesterday. According to scientists, the fact that small planets like Pluto can be active on a massive scale billions of years after their formation is an enormous discovery in planetary sciences. Buried Oceans New studies have also revealed that although Pluto is frigid, it may have started as a hot world that formed rapidly and violently. This suggests that Pluto may still possess an underground ocean that has existed since early on in its life. After reviewing the initial data from the New Horizon probe, it was thought that Pluto's heart-shaped glacier, Tombao Regio, covers a buried ocean that may be hundreds of kilometers deep. This theory was first proposed in 2016 and has been further supported by new research since then. One of the primary pieces of evidence for this theory is based on the planet's strange geography. Some parts of Pluto's surface, such as Sputnik Planum, are incredibly smooth, while others are curiously jagged and look like an alien version of snakeskin. Still, other regions have enormous fractures, such as Virgil Fossa to the west of Sputnik Planum. These cracks look as though they were formed when Pluto expanded and damaged its crust. Suppose Pluto's crust conceals a buried water ocean, which seems increasingly likely based on new research. In that case, as the ocean slowly freezes and grows, it could be stressing Pluto's crust and producing this enormous mixture of strange fishes on the surface. But how has the dwarf planet managed to hold on to its liquid ocean being so far from the sun's heat? One possibility is that the ocean is kept warm by the radioactive elements in Pluto's core, which would slowly heat the surrounding ice over time. Another possibility is that there are hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean, similar to those found on Earth's ocean floor, which would also help keep the water warm. The fact that this buried ocean has managed to stay liquid for so long is a mystery that scientists are still actively trying to solve. But this new finding on Pluto also suggests that other dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt, such as Eris, Makimaki, and Haumea, may have also possessed subsurface oceans ever since they formed. If this is true, scientists have to look at the formation of those planetary bodies in a whole new light. It also raises an interesting question about the potential habitability of those distant icy worlds. Water is a crucial component of life. And if these Kuiper Belt planets possess water, they could be host to microbial life deep beneath their surface, making them candidates for the search for extraterrestrial life in our solar system, along with moons such as Europa and Enceladus. Whatever the case may be, the fact that there is a buried ocean on Pluto is yet another fascinating discovery about this strange and wonderful world. These are just a few of the many weird mysteries that scientists are hoping to solve with the New Horizons mission. So far, the data and images from the spacecraft have exceeded all expectations, and there's still a lot more to come. We can't wait to see what else Pluto has in store for us. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and click on the cards to check out more such videos. See you in the next one.